suggested that the messenger who was bringing the news was killed. Uh -huh. And somebody said that the news was withheld because the plantation owners wanted the, the blacks to work as long as possible, to bring in as many crops as possible so they could sell as much as possible before Jeff Davis's dollar collapsed. Yes. But this could all be true. But one thing is certain, beloved. Until Granger came to Galveston with his regiment, there were not enough Union soldiers to enforce the freedom of the slaves. And so the slaves were not allowed to know that they were free. Can I say something to you? There are people who stand over your life. Come on, bitch. Come on, come on. Who really do know that you're free. It's true, good bishop. That's really good. You stand over your life. That's really good. All of the evidence is there. You are prospering. You are intelligent. You are logical. You are God inspired. You are spirit filled. You are God led. God is caring for you. When you speak the things of God, you speak them experientially. You talk to God. Look out now. And God talks to you. But there are still people who stand over your life who know that you are free and will refuse to agree with the freedom that truly is yours. Now, it begs the question, and I'm going to stop because it's daddy day. It begs the question, why, first of all, are folks so personally invested in your bondage? What is it doing for you to keep you in bondage? You know, I'm listening to this election cycle very carefully. And we did some statistical work around this in this election cycle and sort of tracing where seeds are being planted. One of the interesting seeds that's being planted about our sitting president is this seed that says, it's not that he's not a good man. Right. Right. In fact, he's a sweetheart. Come mm. on, Bishop. It's just that this task Come on now. was more than he could handle. Oh, yeah. mm. That's right. Mm. Mm. Come on, Bishop. And we need a real man, an experienced man, a business man. In other words, let me tell you what the word is up under that. A white man. Oh, oh my mom, my beloved, European American brothers and sisters are not struggling with this at all. They know what the Tea Party is in this country. Come yes. on. That's right. That's right. A white man, a proper white man. Well, well. Not a half a white man. Right. To come and straighten things out. He did the best he could. Right. Now we need somebody really capable to come in and fix the problem. I said out of all the things that I've heard, this is the truly most insidious. Yes, it is. Because it suggests that somehow, like Thomas Jefferson, when he spoke about how he could be both an abolitionist and a slaveholder, he said, well, the reason I keep, by the way, 150 slaves is not because they shouldn't be free. It is because by their very nature, by nature, the Negro ability to exercise intellect is diminished. And if I don't care for them, they will not survive in life. That didn't explain why he slept with some of them, but that's a whole different <laughs> Another day we'll talk about his two groups of descendants. But listen, what is important for me to say? 
it to you. What is incredibly important is that there was a moment when the slaves got the news that they were free. And they danced and they praised and they danced and they praised and they danced and they praised and Juneteenth was a celebration unlike any celebration that they had ever had before. And then they stopped dancing. And they looked around and they said, oh, now what is we gonna do? We need some manners. 